Yes, 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 guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to another episode of Matt Zena Acting Tips. Today is going to be quite an interesting episode because it's kind of one of those situations that most actors get themselves into at some point in their career. And it's that point where they think, hmm, I'm not getting any auditions at the minute. So, every actor will get into this situation and usually, from my experience, most actors deal with this incorrectly. So I kind of want to give you some good tips, get you to think in exactly the way that you should think and really get some value around what to do, I suppose. Um, now, every actor will get to this situation where it's like, right, I'm not getting any auditions lately. Right, and do you know what your first thought will be? Right, I need to change my agent. And that is always the first thing that every actor thinks of doing. And I'm here to tell you that it's probably the last thing that you should do. Not that there's agents out there maybe that aren't working as effectively as you think they should do. Um, it's just that the majority of them usually are, but there's lots of other things that you should consider first, okay? So, the first thing that you should really be thinking about is, I'm not getting any auditions lately, what can I do? What can I do? Okay? I know that seems counterintuitive, but genuinely, this is the truth, okay? So the first thing's first. You're a business, and your business is using, using, uses an agency to get work, but your business is really in charge of its marketing. Its marketing package, okay? What is your marketing package? It's your headshot, it's your showreel, it's your online CV, your online presence, so if a business, say like mine or any other business out there, is struggling, what's the first thing that a business does? It goes to their marketing. Why are they not able to, to kind of um, get the clients that they need? Why are they not able to get the business done that they need to get done? They go, you have to go back to your marketing. So go and have a look at your headshot. Does your headshot engage? Does it tell the casting director, director, producer who you are, what you're about? I did a whole episode on this last week, so make sure you go back, back and look at it. How's your showreel? Does your showreel show, show the casting director your best work, exactly what you're about? Do you make selections based on what you think a casting director wants to see or what you'd like them to see, or does it genuinely show them what they need to see? All right, your marketing package, is it up to date? Do you have all these sizes on there, skills? If it's on casting networks in the UK or other sites around the world, does it prove that you can do those skills? Do you have a good social media presence? Are you creating a personal brand? Are you doing all of those types of things to create networks to get people looking at you? To get casting directors, industry professionals looking at you other than just your CV? Are you looking at every avenue? As well as that, I'm gonna shock you. Are you looking and searching for your own roles? Your, your agent has access to, yes, professional roles through, through certain channels that they are involved in. But before I go on to that, do you apply for your own roles? Do you get your own professional work? The industry at the minute is filtering down and lots and lots of production companies are Advertising for actors through different various resources, through online jobs boards, through social media. Are you searching for your own work? Your agent gets 20% maximum, you get 80%. Do 80% of the work. Are you working hard enough? Okay, I know this all sounds very challenging, um, but it's the truth, all right? And sometimes if this does sound challenging or a bit annoying to you, maybe it's because it touches a nerve and therefore you need to maybe have a little rethink. So, are you searching for roles? On my app, Matt Zena Acting, um, iOS and um, Google Play, on there I actually, for free, put on there 21 different locations where you can actually find and search for your own, world, own roles worldwide. 
Um, so there is something for you to think about instantly. As well as that, are you networking? Have you ever contacted a casting director, emailed a casting director to, from a business sense, say, look, this is the problem that I solve for you. Here's my new showreel material. Here's my new headshot material. Please take a look. Have you asked for a meeting? Have you done the legwork as well as your agent? I'll, put, I'll say it again. Your agent gets a maximum 20%, okay? You need to do 80% of the work. That doesn't include just sitting around waiting for the phone to ring, does it? Okay? Because if you're not working, if you're, you're that 80% is not happening, you've got to create that 80%. So let's move on. So once you've discovered and, and kind of gone through all of that with a fine tooth comb, now you may be thinking, right, okay, maybe I need an agent that's working harder. So how can you test that? Ask your agent for what we call a submission report. You can get those and agents can download those from Spotlight or whatever platform you're on. And have a look through and think, right, well, maybe, because I, if you're really sure that your marketing package is, is really good and that you should be getting auditions, then maybe you're not being submitted enough, okay? I know for a fact that we're now in our organization, <laughs> that is just not the case but maybe you're not happy with your agent maybe that might be the case most of the time it just isn't guys it's mostly the first kind of element of this video it's 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 the marketing package it's all of those things that really you need to do but if you do need if you do feel you like you need a change if you do then that's understandable, but make sure that you have genuinely, genuinely gone over all the things that you should be doing first, okay? Work with your agent. Ask them what you could be doing to improve your marketing package. Ask them, do you think their headshots are working? Do you think that they're converting? Just one other consideration when thinking about your agent is ask them how they do most of their submissions. Now we're lucky because we're we, um, at Matt Zena Acting or Matt Zena Agency as we call it, we've been going quite a long time. So we get our resources in terms of our casting from various different ways. We speak to casting directors direct, we get breakdowns direct, we submit through Spotlight, casting networks, um, and we have various different ways in which we engage with casting directors, directors, producers, and get breakdowns and um, send off our actors. So maybe you need to have a word with your agent and just say, look, how do you, you know, do you speak to casting directors? Do you get breakdowns sent? Is it just all submissions? And if you can find out all the channels that, um, you know, kind of your agent is getting these opportunities from, you might be able to maybe see that maybe another agent might get more channels um, of opportunity than maybe another agent. Another thing that you've got to consider is have you got the right agent? You know, if you've got a theatrical agent, if you've got um, a commercial agent and you kind of want to do more television film, just have a little think, you know, have I got the right agent? The right, does my agent um, get certain opportunities? You know, um, and once you've answered that question, then you might start thinking of moving agencies. But don't just, I think, to bring this full circle, don't just instantly presume that because you're not getting auditions, it's your agent's fault. Your agent will, pro will be working on your career every single day. A again, it's about actually what are you doing? And if you increased your work rate to anywhere near the work rate of your agent on your career, think of all that combined effort, you won't fail to get more opportunities in, okay? I hope that helped. Um, like I say, sometimes what I say doesn't, um, is not palatable sometimes, but I just genuinely say it how it is. And I think if you're an actor in, in kind of 2022, think of it like this. I'll say it one more time. Your agent gets 20% maximum. You know, it's different for different agencies. You get 80%. So you really, to earn your 80%, need to do five times more than your agent. It's only fair. 
are you on a daily basis doing five times more than your agent when your agent is probably sending you off for things every single day and working on your CV, your career, and working on creating opportunities for you every single day? Are you doing five times more? Ask yourself that question and all of this will become incredibly clear. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, press the bell button so that you get notified about every single new episode. And I will see you for another episode next week. Goodbye.